Within the book section on the site, round about here, you can see there's all different products. All these products, bar saddle stitching, can have extra sections of paper added to them in different colours, different finishes, and can, even, and can have many different sections printed in a different way. Now this is a fantastic way of building a job, and it gives you the opportunity to build some very sophisticated products online. I, what I'm going to do here now is show you how to do this. Um, what I'm going to do is just select one product, which will be generic for every, every other product here. So remember, it's cone binding, fast back, perfect binding, stabs, stab stitched, staple top left, and wire binding that you can actually add different sections and different colors, different types of printing to one product. So let's just pick one of them. I'm going to go for perfect binding. Some of these products will have an actual video showing you exactly what they are. For instance, Perfect Binding, which is quite a common product used throughout education. We, we, we filmed a video just to show you how it's made and uh, give you an idea on how it's finished. So there you are. Click on that the first time you come on here and have a look and get some ideas. Oh, on, the, on the right, you'll see Paper Choice. And uh, I, again, we produced a little video just to show you what different types of paper does and how it looks. And on top of that, please give us a call on 0208 801 6983 for some more guidance or speak to Michael who's managing this contract and he'll be able to help you. Now if you come down here, you will see on Perfect Binding and all the other products I mentioned will have different SLAs. There is the SLA it tells you how long the product's going to take. Perfect Binding is quite a relatively complex process so, and it's produced offline. Um, machine is offline, so it's got gluing and all sorts of things going on. So that's why it takes a bit longer. When it says online orders, what it means by that is, is if you place your job online, so effectively you've uploaded an electronic file, could be a Word file, PDF file, whatever it is, onto the system, it means that we can get on with your order straight away. If you place an inquiry, an order on the system, but not attached your file, and it's something we need to pick up from you, whether it's a CD or whether it's hard copy that needs scanning, it takes a little bit more time because we need to pick it up from you and we lose, we lose that time in the process. So there you have it. Now let's come down to the bottom here and just call this, say, test. Pick a size and pick a quantity. I'm going to call it 200. And I'm going to say it's portrait orientation. Go to step two. Now the products I mentioned may have three stages. And the reason they have three stages is because they might uh, allow you some other options and they'll be very, very obvious when you order them. But this one has two. And the, the bit that I really want to cover here to make it, make it simpler to understand is what does that mean, add pages. So let's imagine we have a book in front of us and it's going to be perfect bound. And this book, let's say, the first 20 pages are going to be printed on uh, a white, uncoated standard stock, which is your Birkbeck standard 80 gram, and where it's going to be printed, say, black and white both sides. So you've got the first 20 pages of your document are black and white both sides on a white, uncoated stock. There we go. Now, you might have eight pages following in colour, beautiful colour pictures of it, or colour illustrations it or diagrams that you need to have clearly shown to the students in color. And what I'm going to do now is add those pages. So we click Add Pages. Now to be absolutely clear, these pages will follow those. So make sure you put the sections in the correct order. That's absolutely paramount, because we will follow this uh, in, in, the, in, the, in, in the format that it is at the moment. So section two, let's say it's eight pages, now you could print it on this standard 80 gram uncoated, but let's say you want to make it look a bit nicer. I'm going to go for a coated stock and let's say 120 gram. That'll give it a bit of a difference in there when you look at the product from the side and you open it and you feel it. And now, as I said before, we're going to make this color both sided. So there we are, four colors double sided. So there you have it. So far you have 28 pages in your document and it starts off with black, black only double sided and then has four color double sided. It's got a very interesting look. Let's say following the, the um, it could be any size you want. It could have many sections. It could have only one section, it doesn't matter. 
The, op the opportunities here are, are endless and it's, it's a fantastic way of building a product. But let's say you now want to add another section and, and this time it's going to be a yellow stock and it's going to be say 24 pages of yellow stock. So um, we're going to look down here and find a nice yellow paper. There we go, yellow paper, 80 gram. And this is some sort of reference area or something like that. So you're probably going to print this black only, double-sided again. So we'll do that. There we go. And as you can see, you've got quite an interesting product building up here. You start off from white paper, black and white. You follow by some nice color pages. And now at the end, of the, we're going to call this a free section book, just so we can complete this. We'll say 24 pages now on yellow stock, black double-sided. Now only the last thing to do now is to add a cover. And uh, here we go down here, there's the covers, and I'm going to call the cover, say, four color double-sided. And I'm going to put it that on a thick material, like you would do normally, say 280 gram. You want the cover to be quite thick and strong. Ignore this little button here. It's a bit of data that transfers with the job for our records. So there you have it. You have a very simple, you have a very simple process to build a very complex product, and it's all done online. And now what you do is you click continue, the system will now locate the best presses for, to produce those sections and, to, and will also look at the machines that are going to finish the job as well. So there's a, there's a lot of information going backwards and forwards now. And here we have it. Right, let's have a little look up here so we can clearly understand. The estimate number is there. That will be on every single communication between us. The date the job's been put on. The product type, it's a perfect bound book. Uh, it could be any of the products I mentioned beforehand. It could be any product, and it will be clearly defined up here. And it's called test. The quantity is 200. Is there a cover? Yes, there is. Size is A4. Print sec text section 1. 20 pages, black only, double-sided. Section 2, 8 pages, 4 color, double-sided. Section 3, 24 pages, black only, double-sided. And the first section is on your standard stock, which is the 80 gram uncoated, and it's called Birkbeck Stand, nice and easy. Text section two, gloss 120 gram. Text section three, yellow paper 80 gram. And then you print the cover four color double sided uh, on the material 280 gram. Very simple. At this point, you might not be happy, you might want to add another section, you might want to get rid of a session, change things. Do it might be the, the price might be too high to your budget, or you you might think you can afford more, so you might want more produced. The number of factors. If you want to do any of that, you click Edit Job, go back and change one of the stages. It's as simple as that. If it's a complete disaster, it starts all over again, and hopefully it's all fine. And here you click Upload Artwork, where you upload the actual file that you want us to work from. Be very clear though that the being very clear that the, the, the sections will be printed as specified here one, two, and three. So be very careful that when you build your job, you put all the sections in the right place. If you have any issues or any problems, please contact us, or if you'd like to, add some additional information over here which may help us. Maybe you have three files that you want to put together. Not uncommon actually. If that's the case, you might want to clearly label over here. So, by the way, lay, uh, file 114 is section 1, 116 is section 2, and file C is section 3. You could just put that all here, and it will follow the job everywhere. You just type in there. And there you have it. And then you just do that, and once you're happy, you submit the job, and you click on Submit. And here we are. This is the last bit. It's just like any online ordering system. It's... Uh, being that we've built this bespoke, this for Birkbeck, everything's in the system from budget codes to delivery addresses and all sorts of stuff, and it will create lots of reports for us. Uh, but the thing is, most of it's in there. The only thing you need to do is to go up the top here where it says room, and there's a little red dot next to it. That's a mandatory fill that has to be filled in. And that, that's, that's just telling us where this, where this job goes back to. So I'm going to call that, say, 224. Just make up a number. And the last thing you need to do is click conditions. By clicking on the conditions tab, you are agreeing that Clock CLOC can charge Birkbeck for this job. I want you to understand the job may be produced in the evening, you might place this in the afternoon, 
and that's the case, the job may be ready in the morning or half done. So we are commencing production once once this comes over. So to be absolutely clear, you have to click that button to say that you understand that. And then you submit the job. And there you are. If you have any difficulty whatsoever and you need some help, please dial 0208 801 6983 where one of the team will be happy to help you. Thank you for looking at the video.